don't know what they want. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Their main agenda is to create a hybrid race. We're manipulating our DNA into a different species. And I am like just asking why? What are you doing? They need human DNA with their alien DNA. I am so scared. My name is John Burke. I'm an investigative reporter and a certified hypnotherapist. I'm confident we're being visited. What I don't know are their intentions. Los Angeles, California, a city where nothing is ever as it seems. But sometimes, a place where horrifying stories of UFOs and alien abductions are very real. For every up, there's a down. For every ying, there's a yang. I mean, you take the city of Los Angeles. The weather is absolutely perfect, but there's so many cars that practically chokes the life out of the day. It's an incredible amount of wealth and blinding poverty based on whatever street you happen to cross. It's not all fancy cars and movie stars either. There's an underbelly, an underbelly that really fosters the UFO alien abduction movement. I guess they're easy targets for ridicule. Hidden trauma masked under some fantastic illusion. I don't know. Maybe what's easy is dismissing it as nonsense. Maybe what takes courage is confronting the demon. Wendy, she's really straddling reality and a dream and trying to come to terms with what's what. And right now, it's so disorienting to her, I'm not sure she knows which one is which. Her first UFO sighting was in 2010 near Indianapolis. Since then, she claims to have seen dozens. They're always with her, following her, like an angel or a ghost. By all accounts, it was a normal existence. It was a normal Midwestern existence. I was very happy, life was very normal. And I think one of the first people asked me, what was one of the first signs or one of the things you, you noticed? And I was joking with my husband one night and I said, if I didn't know better, I would say there was a star following me. Describe one of the more remarkable images that you've ever seen in the sky. I was standing in my backyard and I usually don't have feelings, or I can't feel if there's going to be any UFO experiences or events. But one night I felt like there was something that was going to happen. I went to my backyard, and I wasn't looking in the sky. I was looking toward the woods that are off to the side in my backyard. And sure enough, I see this, it looks like this enormous blue teardrop come out of my woods. And it's probably 50 feet high. Whoop, it goes up to the sky and just stays there. And it is a perfect neon blue diamond had a pink interior and had a red bar across it. And it was, it was magnificent, it was beautiful, it was non-scary. You would think something like that would be terrifying, but I was in such awe. Now this doesn't just happen in your backyard, does it? I mean, when you travel, they show up? When I travel, they show up. I go back and forth to Los Angeles and I've seen things. And as I travel the country, or I've even gone to Europe and I've seen them. There's, there's got to be something you know, I never felt chosen, and I don't like that word, but there's something there that maybe I know or a lesson that somebody I know knows that, that needs to get out. Thoughts on meeting Wendy for the first time. You know, you can take a look at UFO pictures and UFO footage all day long, but it's not until you stand across from somebody and you look in their eyes and you see that certainty and that uncertainty at the same time, the intensity of the experience, that it really begins to haunt you. You're obviously in the middle of a journey. This all really picked up just a short time ago when you're trying to put all the pieces together. What next? What do you do now? I want to know more. I want to know there are certain nights that are enormous to me. I want to know what happened. There are nights that I, um, I'm not sure about the word abduction or being taken. I don't know. And I always try to leave a very open mind. Um, I'm very curious about it. But there's some questions that I would like answers to. There's some nights that didn't make a lot of sense to me. You know, a lot of people, when they're in a position similar to yours, they'll go to hypnosis to learn more. Is that something you'd be open to? I would. I think that's our next step. And so far, I've managed to gain Wendy's trust, but right now, all I have are photographs and stories. 
So I've convinced her to come to a world-renowned hypnotherapist who deals in alien abductions. Now, if she has an event during this hypnotherapy session, we may be tapping into something that she doesn't even know exists in her life. How many people have been abducted, in your opinion, over the last 10, 20 years? It's in the millions. Millions? It's worldwide. It's not just here in the United States. It's worldwide because I get uh, contacted by people all over the world. We are being engaged by alien beings from we don't know where. Why though? Why are they contact? Why are they interacting? Their main agenda is to create a hybrid race between they need human DNA with their alien DNA, and they're creating these hybrids. They've been doing this for a very long time. As you are allowing yourself now to completely and totally relax, we're gonna begin by taking a trip back in time to explore a memory. Just feel yourself going back during that time, going to your house. I reached for the string to pull the blinds down. And I am taken in by a light so enormous and I could see into it. And as you're seeing into it, describe what you're seeing. The whole room has like this yellow green hue to it. And they're kind of... It's like the colors are off. <laughs> Verbalize it, Wendy. I'm right here. It's darker than, like, it should be. Like, it's darker than a room. Mm -hmm. And it's more, like, it's not straight like a room. Like, it's curved, kind of. There's like, like these tentacle things, like beams, not beams, but jellyfish. And as you're seeing into it, describe what you're seeing. It's blinding, but there's something in there. I am so scared. I don't know what they want. I don't know. I don't know. Who were, who were they? Who were they, Wendy? Who are you referring to? Them. There is somebody behind my head or something. <laughs> and I am like just asking why? What are you doing? Do you get a sense of that? person behind you? It's a female voice, which catches me off guard. And is the female voice talking to you? Yep, not a lot. Do you, do you know what this... Like she says, you're fine. Mm -hmm. You're fine. You'll be fine. And I don't know what they want from me. What did they say? The names are important in numbers and letters. And we will put people in front of you and you will know by the words that they speak. Three, just feel your body starting to come around. Four, your eyes are opening. And five, well, we've opened up the subconscious. It doesn't serve any purpose for someone to keep holding this in. All right, I just feel like all right, that there is a lot more. It's very real to her. That was very clear in the room. My question to you is, is it, is it real to you? Do you think that she has interacted with aliens? You know, John, after 22 years of doing this, definitely. As soon as I saw her body language, as soon as I saw her, the tears that came forward, um, the, the raw emotion and the fear. This is very, very typical. Yvonne's in a curious spot, and no question Wendy's session revealed an intense emotional experience, but was it abduction? I can't tell if she believes what she just heard or if it even matters. I can tell you she cares. She cares about her clients being healed and happy and living balanced, good lives. 
Dr. Lear is a podiatrist by trade, but has found himself at the forefront of actual physical evidence of this alien abduction phenomenon, the implant. Dr. Lear has worked out his own theories as to purpose and origin. He doesn't care who he upsets. He doesn't care what boat he rocks. All he wants is the truth and for the truth to be known. What about the implants? How many have you extracted? And we've done uh, 16 surgeries to date and produced 17 objects. I just want to touch on the idea of a hybrid program. Do you endorse that? Yes, I believe that there is such a thing as a hybrid program. A large amount of the abductee program has to do with re-manipulating our DNA into a different species. So the implants manipulate DNA? I think what they're there is gathering data so they can broadcast this data remotely when they want it. Recently we've come to the conclusion that the skeletal structure of the body is being used for an antenna because it contains all the constituents that would make up you know, a metallic antenna. What uh, is it that makes you think that you're involved with the alien abduction program at all? I feel like I'm being hunted. I feel like they know where I'm at. Do you have any idea of where this implant might be? Just because I've heard, you know, very loud tones in my right ear, right. I would say probably in my ear, perhaps. We're going to do some uh, prefunctory uh, tests and measurements to see if your body is emitting anything. We're actually looking at uh, Wendy's leg with an ultraviolet light, and anything that uh, begins to shine uh, Peculiar color is uh, what we consider fluorescence. Sometimes these colors can be uh, orange or pink. Okay, well, I don't see anything. Are people ever tracked in a different way? In a different... Well, we don't think these devices have anything to do with tracking anybody. Uh, we know now in our own genetic laboratories that uh, each, our own, our own DNA has its electronic signature. You got a lump in this one. Yeah, that's a good size lump. Not related to your earring. It's very firm, about the size of a large P. This is a Gauss meter. Gauss meter picks up electromagnetic fields. We find, uh, for example, in implants, they admit as much as 10 milligauss. What does that mean? Eight? And again, we're right over that bump. So that's about eight milligauss is coming out of that ear. What does that mean? Could be an object which is releasing some electromagnetic field. To be on the safe side, <clears throat> we should get an x-ray, maybe both ears. It looks like there's a little radio density right here. Does Wendy have an implant? We know that the radio density in the spot is not supposed to be there. So it could be an implant. I have no words right now. I, I'm not sure what I'm feeling. I, I, I'm surprised to even see anything at all and even the possibility of it being an implant um, is something I always thought about, but maybe I just didn't want to go there um, because it's just another layer to this entire story. Uh, this is a, a worldwide phenomenon, and the people uh, of this planet are being kept in the dark. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, but it could be a train heading right for us. Now, Wendy finished her session really by looking down and she said, there's more. Do you agree? Oh yes. How much more? John, this experience doesn't stop. It's ongoing. It may lay dormant for say a few years, but it's going to happen again.